Fox 19 Now and your Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky Toyota dealers proudly celebrate Black History Month. In May, the Cincinnati Music Hall will celebrate its 150th year. And over a lot of years, it's provided entertainment and a lifetime of memories for people all across the tri-state. Fox 19's Amber Jayon tells us it was also a safe gathering spot for the African-American community in the late 1800s. I caught up with Taya Chepkema, who's a board member of the Friends of Music Hall, and she's been doing years of research to document the early black experience at Music Hall. This is the soul of Music Hall, this building, this room, the Springer Auditorium. If these walls could talk, it would have many tales to tell of how times and freedoms have changed over the years. Music Hall was not always a welcoming place for African Americans. Now, Taya Chepkema, a historian, has been on the quest gathering documents and articles to tell that story of the African American experience, starting with how the music hall even came into existence, opening in 1878 with prominent wealthy figures in Cincinnati making donations to help build it. Reuben Springer gave thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Very humble man. Taya says African Americans made significant contributions too, including Springer's barber, Fountain Lewis, an African American man who Taya says contributed $20, which she says would have been equivalent to about $500 today. I'm sure all the excitement of building the building was being talked about in his barbershop. And Fount Lewis was, came to Cincinnati in 1841. He was born on a plantation, but his mother bought her freedom um, just before his birth. We had one of the most uh, uh, accomplished and affluent and helpful black communities here um, for escaped. Uh, slaves. Taya says some of the greatest musicians, athletes, and artists of all time grace the stage at Music Hall. Boxer Ezra Charles also packed the house and the North Hall, which was a sports arena at the time. Sissy Retta Jones, the most legendary operatic soprano, came to sing on this stage just after her debut at Carnegie Hall. Taya says the queen of blues, Mamie Smith, who was born eight blocks away from Music Hall, was also a headliner in 1921, in front of audiences filled with black and white people, which is significant considering it was a time during segregation. They say it was the largest and best element of Cincinnati's black and white citizens. There was unspoken segregation though, and perhaps I've been trying to figure out. Probably uh, African Americans were allowed to sit in the upper gallery. Taya is now documenting and archiving all the historical experiences with plans to update the National Register of Historic Places to include the African American history at Music Hall. To share these untold stories that we all need to know, they make a difference. We should all be celebrating this incredible building and what it's done for the community. And there's so many more stories. Now, currently, the Friends of Music Hall offers an under one roof talk and tour, sharing some of the historical events at Music Hall. And Taya is also currently working on a podcast. Amber Jayanth, Fox 19 Now.